Well, if you're in the traffic corps, there is a, there is a um, I won't say a quota, but you've got to be, you know, hitting your markers, yeah. Because otherwise you won't last in a traffic court. Um, and there's always pressure on, on, on getting more tickets out there. There is, all the time. But the guards are not unusual. It's the same in the London Met. If you read any of the contemporary reports from the NYPD or NOPD or LAPD or wherever, there's a constant pressure uh, by management on the uh, rank and file to issue more tickets. I don't agree with that because it really means that you're targeting people. If, if people are driving demonstrably badly, then fair enough. But if, if you're motivated towards uh, uh, hitting markers, then you're actually penalizing people quite a bit. And these are the same people you expect to help you when crimes happen, to ring up. Even when I was in the guards, if we pulled over a car and I was, I, I, I was the person who got out to speak to the person, or I was the other guard who sat in the car. The same conversation would always happen when the, when the guard came back to the car. And the, and the same, and the conversation was, what was the attitude like? What was the attitude of the driver like? And if that driver was pleasant and cooperative, even if they'd done something kind of slightly wrong, chances are the guard would kind of, most of the time, you, know, you kind of tell them about it and bring it to their attention, and, let, and that'd be the end of it. But if you got cheek or back chat uh, or got a stream of abuse, chances are that person's going to go to court. So your demeanour uh, on the side of the road goes an awful long way. Do people lie in court? Yeah. Do guards lie? Yeah. Some do. Most don't. Most don't. Any of the ones that I, I, I would, I would uh, have hung around with or worked with in, in my time didn't, but we always knew some that would, yeah. They would, they will, they will rationalize, why they do it is any number of reasons. They'll rationalize it in their own head. I know this person is guilty, so I know it's true. So I have to do what I have to do to make sure that that result is, is achieved no matter what. Some think that way. That, that, that's a minority, but the majority wouldn't do that. And the um, majority are quite fair in court. But there is a minority of them who have no problem. They will lie like birds sing. No issue at all. What if he knows someone did it? Well, what you know or what you think is kind of irrelevant. It doesn't matter what you think. It's what they say to you. So for instance, if someone was to say to me, or if you were to say to me, look, Pat, I did it, but just tell them I didn't do it. I couldn't represent you on a, on a, by saying he's not guilty. I can't do that because I know you're guilty because you told me. But if someone was to say to me, uh, I didn't do it, I didn't do it at all, then I represent them on that, on that basis of not guilty because they've told me they haven't done it. It doesn't matter what I think. Uh, I may have certain views or suspicions, but it doesn't matter. It's what they tell me. But I can't represent you on a plea of not guilty if you've told me you've done it.